Hello guys, I'm Yasser Ali. In this tutorial, we will discuss hydraulic circuit for chain traction system which is installed in coil tubing injector head. And for the explanation, we will consider hydra rig model of the injector head. Uh, as this our tutorial is uh, in continuation with our previous tutorial of uh, chain traction system. So before going ahead, we will just recap what we have discussed in our previous tutorials. So in our previous tutorials, we have seen that uh, the function of a chain traction system is to provide the strong grip to the injector chains while running in hole or pulling out of hole. And the main parts of the chain traction system include three pairs of these uh, hydraulic cylinders and uh, the two scat plates and these uh, scat holders and these uh, scat holder guide the main parts are these three pair of traction cylinders these two scat plates and the other two parts as i already mentioned talking about the working of chain traction system chain traction system works on hydraulic power we have to increase the hydraulic pressure to make strong grip on the coil tubing as we running in hole we have discussed all these details in our previous tutorials so timing will go to our main topic that is the hydraulic circuit of chain traction system in the injector head here we have hydraulic circuit for the chain traction system in the injector head so this hydraulic circuit starts from the quick disconnect coupling uh, as we have seen that there are three pairs of hydraulic cylinders so there are three separate circuits for each pair of hydraulic cylinder we will discuss only one circuit and then the other two are just similar only the hose numbers will be changed so time being just assume that we are discussing the hydraulic circuit for this middle pair of cylinders for the middle pair of cylinder the circuit starts from hose number 9 ok which is the quick disconnect from this hose connection pressure will go to the accumulator ok here is the accumulator and from the accumulator we have a T this flow will be diverted into two parts or will be divided into two parts one hose from this accumulator will go to the one cylinder and the other hose will go to the other cylinder and at the cylinder we have a pressure gauge which will show the pressure of this circuit again let's see this circuit will start from the quick disconnect from the quick disconnect hose will go to the accumulator at the accumulator this flow will be divided into two parts one hose will go to the one cylinder and the other hose will go to the other opposite cylinder of the same level that is if uh, this hose is going to the top cylinder then this hose will go to the other top cylinder that is the other side for example if this hose is going to this particular hydraulic cylinder then the other hose will go to the opposite that is this cylinder which is on the back side so in this way this hydraulic circuit will work now we'll see the pictures for the same circuit so here we have the hose panel for the injector head here we can see the upper traction cylinder middle traction cylinder and the lower traction cylinder upper traction cylinder is the hose number 9 middle is number upper is number 8 middle is number 9 and the lower is number 7 we have discussed the middle one so th at this point we will connect the hose number 9 here we can see see this is the middle traction so we will connect this hose then this hose on the back side will come to this accumulator here we have the accumulator so it is coming at this point and is connected to the accumulator at the accumulator this flow is divided into two parts into two parts one is this one and the other one is this one so one supply will come to the one cylinder which we can see over here it is coming on this middle cylinder and the other hose that is other supply will come to the second cylinder the parallel cylinder on the other side which is connected over here in this way the pressure circuit will be completed Before going ahead, we will see the function of the accumulator that what is the function of the accumulator in this particular 
circuit a cumulator that is installed to act as a shock absorber during the operation when we are running in hole or pulling out of hole there are the vibrations in the chains so if there these accumulators are not installed what will happen there will be the pulsations on the cylinders so to avoid the pulsations these accumulators are installed these accumulators have the pre uh, precharged nitrogen in it so they act as shock absorbers and there are total three accumulators each accumulator for each circuit we have three uh, traction circuits one for the upper cylinders uh, second for the middle and the third for bottom pair of hydraulic cylinders and each uh, accumulator have the capacity of 0.25 gallons and the pressure of the precharged nitrogen is 400 psi if the pressure is less than 400 psi we have to recharge these accumulators using nitrogen kits so in this way we can again summarize the injector traction circuit it will start from the uh, hose panel hose will go to the accumulator on the accumulator with the help of T flow will be divi divided into two sections one hose will go to the one accumulator uh, one cylinder and the other hose will go to the other cylinder parallel cylinder and uh, we also have the pressure gauge which will show the pressure reading as we have already seen our this slide okay here we have this pressure gauge so we have seen that from this hose panel pressure will be gone to this accumulator at the accumulator flow is divi divided into two sections one section go to one cylinder and the other to the second hydraulic cylinder similarly the other two circuits for the upper pair of hydraulic cylinders and the third circuit for the lower pair of hydraulic circuits in this way we have three separate hydraulic circuits for the traction system okay in this tutorial we have discussed only traction pressure circuit and each pair of cylinders have separate traction pressure circuit as far as the traction drain circuit concerns we have only one drain circuit for all the three pairs of hydraulic cylinders what does it mean it means that we can see on these uh, hydraulic cylinders we have two ports so the first pressure port is for the pressure circuits and the back side pressure uh, port is for the drain circuit as we can see on these circuits uh, on these cylinders here uh, this one the first one this one is for pressure uh, pressure circuit similarly the first one on uh, towards the chain side is for the pressure circuit and for each pressure uh, hydraulic pairs of cylinder we have the separate traction circuit as far as the backward port concerns this is for the drain circuit and we can see that the drain circuit circuit is interconnected this hose is coming over here and is connected to this cylinder and then this is connected to the, this cylinder and then ultimately it is connected to the motor drain which we will discuss in our separate tutorial in our next tutorial time being what we have to understand is that the pressure circuit for each pair of cylinder is separate and the drain circuit is only one we will discuss drain circuit in our next uh, tutorial so time being we have to just make clear the pressure circuit and we have seen again we have already seen that pressure circuit start from the quick disconnect then go to the accumulator from the accumulator the flow is divided into two parts one hose go to one cylinder the other hose go to the other cylinder and we have a pressure gauge so so that was a detailed discussion about the injector traction circuit i am very much hopeful that you got understanding regarding what we have discussed so thank you very much see you in the next tutorial